Mrs. Us back again with another boxing video. This one, lots of information to cover. I was doing lots of research, I was looking around what people think about this fight. Because I think this is a very interesting fight and I want to know what people were thinking. What was the public opinion behind this? Who gonna win? How this fight will gonna turn out? Why this fight is taking place in Turkey? Is Garcia really 6-4? And why is world flat? Okay guys, let's jump into it. Okay guys, I want to make this one quick. Uh, special military operation in Ukraine, not going too well. Massive sanctions in Russians. Russian athletes try to flee Russia and perform outside to make any money. Mura Gassiev boxing under Armenian flag, uh, making the fight in Turkey. Lots of Russians emigrated to Turkey because Turkey does not put on sanctions on Russian um, properties and citizens. Let's say it like that. As you can see in this article, article gonna be included in the link. Yeah, so Turkey is sort of friendly with Russians. So yeah, that's why the fight is taking place there. Let's move to the next thing about A side and B side. So yeah, guys, on a box deck you can see that Murat Gesiev is actually A side, or at least his um, team is organizing this event because he is on the left side. So usually that's like the the main side. And Otto Wallin, again, I made a video about him. Uh, dark horse of the vision, good boxer, good boxer, but no one wants to fight him because it's a high risk, very low reward, <laughs> you know what. Uh, but yeah, let's dive into it uh, later. So, uh, one thing which I don't like, we are looking for a WBA intercontinental title. My eyes, WBA is the lowest bar in boxing and I wouldn't recommend anyone really to fight for them because they're just not trustworthy. So yeah guys, uh, let's quickly jump in this fight because there's some misconceptions. One of the thing is uh, Murad Gassiev, I don't know, some people think he's over the hill. Reality, he's 30 years old. He has quite, I would say, very low mileage onto him. Uh, he has been in four title fights, won three of them. Uh, he's He's quite young. Um, yeah, coming from cruiserweights, where he was well known to be literally the hardest punch in the whole division. He was, yeah, he was dominating that division with one punch. Something similar to Deontay Wilder, only Gassiev hits hard with anything. Uh, next thing is his height. Here you can say it says 6'3", like 192. He's shorter than that. You're gonna see in the next picture because when he was fighting uh, against Yusik, even the commentators were saying, if if they both same height, how come um, Gasiev is shorter? He's shorter. He's like six two. I would say maybe gonna be generous here, six two and a half. Okay, so there's some misinformation there, guys. You can see it. Uh, they are standing next to each other now. Uh, Gasiev and Yusik. Trust me, you're gonna see that multiple times in the fight if you check it out. And even uh, Wikipedia, again, Wikipedia is not the most trusted source of information, but here it says 6'4", he's totally not 6'4". Um, so yeah, guys. Uh, okay, guys, so let's pick Valen <laughs> uh, apart and let's grind some British gears. As I say, boxing have rules. Uh, massive, <laughs> massive cut on Tyson Fury. This fight should be stopped. Yes, Tyson Fury was winning the fight, let's be honest, it wasn't even close till the third round um, when Wallin was smothering on in close combat, close exchange, he landed his left hook and opened the gash on top of the Fury's uh, eye. If this should not be stopped, why would you stop Lennox Lewis with Vitaly Klitschko? I mean, we have rules in boxing, definitely this should be stopped. And many people were saying that and there was ring doctors in there and they let this fight to go on. Realistically in the fight Otto Wallen was nowhere near to be able to fight against Fury. He was behind big time. Especially when Fury was landing the jab. You could just see it like Wallen was feeling the jab and he had um, no real recourse to stop the jab. He couldn't parry it, he couldn't step out. He's good with footwork going forward and cutting um, angles, but he's not good of fighting on the back foot. He's not like 
uh, I would say Kubra Puvelev or Jusik. He has decent footwork, but yeah, no real punching power. You could really see this one in Dominic fight against Dominic Brazil, where uh, Valin landed lots of shots and he had a possibility to really go for the power shots, the haymakers, but even with that, yes, I mean, you can see Brazil's face, it was banged up. He still couldn't stop Dominic Brazil. He just does not carry that power. He has skill, movement, stamina, but he does not possess that power to really knock someone out. So, yeah. Well, let's carry on. Let's break, let's break this fight down a bit more, the fighters. So, yeah, guys, I kind of need to go with the crowd here uh, and say he is a bit overrated. He put on a hell of a performance against Tyson Fury, but that's about it. He kind of reminds me Kubra Povilov, a good, good challenger. But is he a world champion? I would say lack of opportunity is the reason why he cannot succeed. And, you know, people don't want to fight him. High risk, low reward. But will this going to be the case in this fight? So, yeah, guys, lots of people would say, oh, why don't I call Gassiev overrated? Well... He was two times champion in cruiserweight division. He's known to hit very hard with both hands. Uh, yeah, and people know he is quite basic. His boxing style is quite basic. So I think he has done very, very well as a boxer. He has achieved a lot. I didn't understand why he moved up to the super heavyweight division. My whole question is, is it better to fight some low level super fighters in the heavyweight division than fighting champions in cruiserweight that's my question i don't know the answer maybe the money difference is so much that that's how you need to go but yeah is it to be better uh, like a challenger or something something in heavyweight than a champion in cruiserweight i don't know regardless of that yeah gassiev basic strong puncher throws about 12 to 14 shots per round lands 40 percent of them looks for the looks for the opening follows with two three punch combination doesn't really use jab cannot really chase down fighters just stands in the middle of the ring and waits for his opponent to engage which case is auto valent because he kind of steps forward so styles make fight i think this is a good fight for um actually gusiev uh, and can he win? Well, the, the real question I would say, can Otto Wallen endure the punishment from Gassiev? Because in one fight you cannot really change your style from going all the way forward to move away. Because if Otto Wallen would be, I would say, like Kubra Puvilev, he could win this fight on a back foot using his jab quite easily just not engaging it would be quite boring fight though uh, so yeah it's the whole question can Otto Wallin last 12 rounds with Gassiev day and to be honest because I just see this fight just being absolute slugfest in the middle of the ring Otto Wallin trying to come in with big shot and Gassiev trying to land something counter it and just back and forward the same action uh, I think Murat Gassiev gonna stop him late around round 8. He gonna hit him, he gonna wobble him and he gonna finish him off. Well, that's how I think this fight will gonna turn out. I may be wrong, uh, you know, had happened in the past. Regardless of that, I think this will gonna be an amazing fight and you should all tune in. Anyway guys, Mr. Zassout and keep smashing that like button.